got to get out front. That's a good job. All right, this will be this will be time for questions if you guys got any, or I can just talk about whatever I want to talk about. So, if you guys got questions about training, about college, about high school, about mindset, wrestling mindset, uh, whatever you guys want to talk about, anything. Anybody got any questions about technique? Yeah. Yeah, toughest guy that I wrestled. I think the toughest guy that I wrestled. Good question. I think uh, it was probably Gadiso. I thought he was the best guy that I wrestled. Um, the guy I la wrestled last year, Saul Jelayev from Russia. He was probably like uh, had the most accolades. Him and this guy named Gatsalov. Those two probably had the most accolades at most world championships won and stuff like that that I've competed against. But I thought that uh, Gadisov was better than him. So I think he was the toughest guy I've ever competed against. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. So when you uh, went to the OTC as a senior, so what went into you making that decision um, as a junior in high school going into your senior year? You yeah. Know, you know, a lot of people are so caught up on winning state titles and things like that. Kind of what went into your decision for that? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I won I won three state titles my freshman, sophomore, and junior year. And then my senior year, I didn't uh, compete in high school. I just went and lived at the training center at, uh, in Colorado Springs and uh, worked with Coach Zadick and Coach Slay and Coach Zeke Jones. And uh, I mean, my goal, my goal wasn't uh, to become a four-time state champion. My goal was to become the best wrestler I could possibly be. And I felt like I had exhausted all the options possible in Maryland and in Pennsylvania and Virginia and the other states for me to do that. I mean, I was driving to different like clubs and driving to the Maryland University RTC to wrestle with the college guys and stuff like that, but it was pretty difficult. So I thought that being at a training center where I would have elite coaches and elite partners to work with uh, every single day, I knew that that was going to bring me, bring me closer and expedite the process of me becoming a better wrestler. And that's what I wanted to do, and my parents knew that's what I wanted to do. And uh, I was mature for my age, so like, I knew I wasn't gonna mess around and uh, do dumb stuff while I was out at the training center, because I lived out there without my parents. I just had a roommate, and the coaches, I mean, they checked in on us, but it wasn't like they were hovering over top of us. They gave us freedom to make decisions, and uh, I, knew why, I knew why I was there a better wrestler and that's what I focused on for that year and it was without a doubt a great decision. It helped me so much. Uh, I learned so much about the correct way to train. Uh, I learned so much technically. Mentally I became way stronger and more confident in myself. So it was uh, definitely very thankful that I made that decision and that my parents allowed me to do it, that they reached out to me. But I mean it was kind of crazy like I remember, like, it was within a week, uh, the, they reached out to me and actually reached out to my high school coach and they were like, would you be interested in doing this? I was like, yeah, I'd be interested in doing this. It'd be pretty awesome. Then I talked to my parents and they were like, yeah, we think this would be good for you, which was probably hard for my parents because uh, they knew I was going to leave for college anyways and parents want to stay with their kids as much as they can, I'm sure. And, uh, but they were like, yeah, did we know that this is what's best for you? So they sent me out there and uh, yeah. Yeah. My closest friend on the team is uh, my brother, Kevin Snyder. He wrestles on the team as well. He's a redshirt sophomore. But I'd say my friends, my really close friends, uh, Bo and Nate, Bo Jordan and Nate Tomasello, uh, Joey McKenna, Miles Martin, Colin Moore, Micah Jordan, Keyshawn. I mean, really, I love all the guys on my team. I love all the guys on my team. They're all really solid people. We have a really good culture. People treat each other with respect and uh, 
Uh, it's really fun to be around all of them. But yeah, Jake Ryan, he wasn't, he's not on the team anymore, but he's a good friend of mine. So a lot of guys. Anthony DiCarlo, Cody Bircher, Ryan Harris. I feel bad not naming them now. Yeah. This game was real on me. So I feel like I gotta name everybody. But yeah, everyone, they're all good people. And I would tell I, I I seriously mean that. I I I don't think there's bad people on the team. All nice guys. Any other questions? Yeah. Do you think uh, the right decision was to go to Ohio State? I do. Yeah, I think that I think it was the right decision. I visited uh, other schools. I liked Penn State. I liked Oklahoma State. I liked West Point because that's where my brother went and wrestled. Older brother. Um, obviously Maryland and Virginia Tech. I like those schools. Uh, but Ohio State. I mean, it's pretty like the freedom that I have there to kind of do what I needed to do to become a better wrestler is. Uh, has been incredible. I don't think I would have gotten that at other universities. So, I mean, like Coach Ryan, the head coach of Ohio State, he literally lets me skip like the biggest, some of the biggest duels of the year to go compete internationally. And I don't think other programs would let me do that. But he knows that's what I needed, and he knows that's what's best for me. He puts, I mean, he, we, we, as a team, we try to put the team in front of ourselves. But as a coach, he knows that me, Becoming a better wrestler is obviously going to help the team later on the season at Big Tens and Nationals, so he allows me to do that type of stuff. They've always brought in partners for me, um, and now I mean we're bringing around, we're bringing in guys from across the world and Europe to come train uh, because that's what we need to become better. So we're constantly innovating and looking outside the box to become better, and then also. Uh, Another thing I'm really thankful for is my faith in Jesus has grown tremendously since I've been at Ohio State. And uh, it's kind of crazy. When I first started talking with Coach Ryan, I don't, I don't know if you guys have met him, but Coach Ryan, head coach of Ohio State, I first started uh, speaking with him, and he asked me to send him an email with all my goals. So I sent him an email with all my goals, and uh, they were like, whatever, become four-time NCAA champ, don't lose a match, become world champ, become Olympic champ, all this stuff. So I sent him that, and then he sends me back an email, and then there's a whole bunch of text under it in red, and all the stuff in red is about growing in my relationship with Christ, uh, believing in Jesus, reading more, doing more Bible studies, acting in a way that represents Christ, and I was like, man, this is crazy. Like, I didn't ever really think about that. Uh, I didn't even really, I mean, I believe in God, but I didn't really think like it was that important. And then he like really encourages it. His faith is really strong and it's had a big impact on me along with a lot of other people. I think that one of the reasons why our culture is so strong and why I enjoy being around the people, a lot of our guys on the team is uh, we've, we're, our foundation is the truth that we believe uh, in the Bible. Any other questions? Yeah. What did you go to college for? I went to college for sport industry, but I pretty much went to college for wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I studied sport industry, and uh, it was good, but I'm going to probably be, I'll be a wrestler for however long I can, Lord willing, compete until, like, I'm 35, 36, and then uh, we'll see what happens after that, but... Yeah, that's, that'll be my profession. Uh, what had it changed when you went to the Big Tens? I was like, I'm, oh, Adam Sandler. What had it changed like, to be him? Yeah, so, what it, so um, that's a good question. Really, the two things that I fo three things that I focused on was finishing my attacks quicker, becoming more efficient when I got to the leg, getting out on bottom, because he was close to riding me for a minute, so I knew I needed to get out on bottom. Uh, and then just having a little bit better of a strategy. Usually I don't have a strategy when I'm competing against people. I just wrestle them as hard as I can. And uh, then whatever happens, happens. Because I like to just be offensive and uh, see where the positions will take me. But uh, against him, I had to kind of pick and choose my attacks a little bit more. I couldn't shoot as much as I wanted to or usually do. 
uh, because he was so big. And yeah, so that was the three biggest things. Coming a little better at finishing, getting off bottom quicker, and then a little bit better game plan, which I normally don't like to do, but I did against him. Yes, sir. These are just y'all snow. Did you graduate? Yeah, uh, I graduated in four weeks. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, uh, Godsolve, the only guy you've never avenged a loss to. He's beaten you twice. Yes, I think so, yeah. I think he's the only guy ever. Sorry for bringing it up. I That's was just okay. curious. <laughs> but he's old, right? Oh, yeah. He's, he's like almost he's 40. Done wrestling. Is he but done I'll yet? Go over to, he's coaching at Kazakhstan. I'll go over there and take him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All um, right. You had a question? No? no? Okay, yeah. You train, change it off from when you competed, like, college and you were going international at the same time? Um. The it, or yeah, there. so the I this was like the first year where I really uh, felt the effect of like going overseas and then coming back and competing right away. I don't know why. Maybe it was because I tri I so I went to camp in Colorado Springs and then uh, it was like a 15 or 14 day camp or something like or 10 day camp. So I went to camp at Colorado Springs. Then the that weekend I flew from Colorado Springs to New Jersey to wrestle Rutgers. Then I flew back to Colorado Springs, finished the end of camp, went back to Columbus, wrestled in a dual meet against Minnesota, and then that Thursday I left to go compete at the Oregon. So I traveled like a whole bunch, and uh, I guess that's what did it to me. Came back to the Oregon and I was like pretty tired, so I had to take some more time off than I usually do. But typically, I'll. If I have like four or five days coming back from international travel where, and I'm not like doing crazy stuff beforehand, then I'll be back and ready to go right after that. Um, so, yeah, my training, uh, I, my, I, I feel like I have a really good, I believe I have a really good strength man and strength coach, and I think that's part of the reason why I'm able to uh, recover so quickly from traveling overseas in competition because of the way that we lift. And uh, we don't put that much, like, we don't tax our body that much, long lifts or reps and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. How big was the sponsorship to play through this video? It was pretty big. It was good. I can't, I can't say the numbers and stuff, but <laughs> that's a good question. I like it. Get right down and dirty. <laughs> He asked how big the sponsorship was with Rudis. <laughs> Good question. Oh, uh, sorry, I have a question. He touched on it. Zeb touched on it. It's the idea of handling adversity. How, what is your mindset when you tr when you look at the adversity that uh, you had to overcome with losses, and how do you attack those pieces uh, in order to become a better wrestler? Yeah, talk to that. Yeah, so. Uh, for me, it's all about what you value, you know, when it comes to the, when it comes to competition. So that value system, uh, you think about why you compete, you think about how you want to compete, and then you put together different reasons, and those are, those are your value systems. So uh, I think like my freshman year of college, my value system was more based on things that I couldn't control. So it was based on like winning winning wrestling matches, uh, winning the NCAA tournament, uh, like gaining more accolades through different tournaments and stuff like that. So I was, I, I feared losing, you know, I, I created a lot of stress and anxiety and I wouldn't open up when I went out there and competed. I didn't feel like I was representing 100% of myself on the mat in competition. I felt like I was wrestling better in practice than I was in competition, which I, I think, at least in the Ohio State room, a lot of guys would say that uh, it's kind of, like a theme because there's so much more there's more pressure uh, different uh, things from the outside world coming into your mind that you have to deal with so then after my freshman year after I got pinned in the NCAA finals by Gatson uh, and I have been working on it throughout the whole year you know making my value system better and uh, improving it so after that uh, I, I thought about it a lot and I continue to still think about it today, but now I value the things more so that I can control, which 
is my effort. Uh, I value my willingness to fight in every single position, my willingness to take risks, uh, having a positive attitude. So all those things are things that I can control, things that aren't up to I mean, uh, winning and losing. If we can control whether or not we won or lost, we would be undefeated, right? We would win every single match because we're all competitors and we all want to win. But we can't control that. So why think about it? And when you think about that type of stuff, uh, like a challenge, like you said, or adversity is scary, you know? I would, if, I, if all I want to do is win, and lo win, win every match, then why would I be excited about Sajulaya coming to my weight class? I wouldn't be, because he threatens that. He threatens me winning the tournament, because he's a good wrestler. But now I value the things that I told you, my effort, having a good mindset, positive mindset, uh, and my willingness to fight. So those things, all things that I can control, and when somebody comes into my weight class or whatever different stuff happens to me, I look at it from that perspective, and it's a good thing now because those type of challenges are gonna make me uh, a much better wrestler. And ultimately, that's what the ultimate thing that I value is becoming, uh, at least in sports, is becoming the best wrestler I can be. Cool. That's it, guys. Good job. Break it down. Wait, are we doing pictures and stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're doing pictures and stuff. So line up. Line up. Do you have those? Okay.